So I got something to show y'all. I want to know. It's like a joke. <laughs> what came first, the chicken or the egg? What is the cause of this? J. Morrell just being J. Morrell. The fact that J. Morrell doesn't have a timer on this oven. The fact that I was cooking a bunch of other Thanksgiving stuff. Happy Thanksgiving. There's my ham. Happy Thanksgiving evening, friends. So this evening, we are, we're, we're cooking some things, we're doing some things. Things are happening. We're calm. We're being haved. Baked macaroni and cheese is going down. Did that fill both those pans? Yes. Awesome. Happy things are happening. We warmed this ham, and then I sprinkled the little sugar pack that comes with it, and I thought, oh, we'll have this ham and some baked macaroni and cheese for dinner tonight. Yay, tis the season. Anyway, I put it on broil, but then I got busy stirring my cheese, making my cheese sauce. We can still, I mean, it's obviously the top pieces. It's still gonna be great, stick with me. Okay, so Liam just filled two overflowing, two pans. We're gonna do our baked mac and cheese. You can see what we were doing earlier today. The, these are Travis's absolute favorite. Like, he'll, he even just buys these at Walmart, okay? So I was like, wow, if all the kids learn to make these, I mean, you know, we could probably have these made once a week. What am I doing with my life? So anyway, we have been enjoying them and they are a big favorite. And so this was funny. Large family horror stories. Guess what we ran out of? Yep. I don't know how it happened. Your guess is as good as mine. See this show? We really do run out of stuff. So we got five of these 24 rolls. I think this would be the equivalent of two of the big packs at Costco because I think those have 48 rolls per pack. We couldn't get to Costco tonight. It was a, again, pre-Thanksgiving Walmart pickup order. This is where the toilet paper in our small town has gone, haha. -ha. Also, this is the pumpkin pie situation. No shame in my pumpkin pie game. I would dump all of those into the container that we put the cookies in because somebody's gonna eat all those little crumbles. Don't throw those away. Yeah, just, but just kind of funnel it. I was having a kiddo get up the cookies there and get them in a container. But then it's a balance. We are using our organic Southern style hash browns from Azure and we are doing some hash brown casseroles. So for this Thanksgiving, and hopefully you can hear me because I got the fan on. Oh, I still got those, still got those noodles in that water. Hold on a minute. Let's at least, let's at least turn this off. Okay, back to the whiteboard. Uh, so for this Thanksgiving, obviously, day before Thanksgiving, burning the ham, we are here. We've been home all day. This Thanksgiving, 14, very sensible. We do it every day. So nothing too hysterical here with that. Uh, I had already gotten some turkeys. I know there's been a turkey thing, but we had turkey. Um, it was harder for me to get like a little ham at Walmart. So because of my health and all those different things that we've been, you know, totally in a van, all the things in life that have been going on. And since I've just gotten back to my big batch cooking a little bit. I did not have Thanksgiving done in the freezer weeks in advance. I have had years where I've done that. We've also had years where we have gone to Cracker Barrel. <laughs> We've also had years, and I think this is fun, and this is what we're kind of doing this year, where we're really just cooking it, like Thanksgiving morning, a little bit the day before, a little bit Thanksgiving morning. We have two different family members, two different healthcare settings, two different states <laughs> that we are going to on Friday, so the day after Thanksgiving. Black Friday, we are running the roads to visit one family member, and then Saturday, we're doing it again, and we're gonna be doing lots of moving and sorting and just like helping with things. So anyway, we're doing a lot. Like I am doing four 10 by 15 pans of baked macaroni, but I'm thinking that two of those pans will probably go in the freezer. Like they'll be prep, they'll be made tonight, prepped and ready for tomorrow. But I don't think we're gonna go through that much baked macaroni with everything else we've got going on. So it's just fine. They will go in the freezer. Now, also uh, we've done the hash brown casseroles. 
I also have a slow cooker recipe for that. I was thinking earlier we would throw those in the slow cooker tomorrow, but we ended up getting those in the oven tonight. Uh, we did the no-bake chocolate cookies. We burnt the ham, that's okay. Walmart made the pies for us right now. Yes, even though I am an owner of a bazillion pumpkins, I could not get to pumpkin processing this week. I don't, I don't know why. Why couldn't I also do that? But anyway, Walmart will save the day with that. Uh, we have box stuffing. But then again, I'm gonna do homemade cranberry sauce. Okay, uh, and then what else? We're gonna do deviled eggs. Wow, with eggs. So our chickens have been, you know, laying eggs, doing great. Things have slowed down. Like today, we only got eight eggs. Yesterday or the day before, I cooked up with breakfast the eggs that we had. And so today, I knew I needed more eggs. So I put them in our Walmart pickup order. They're like almost $4 a dozen. <laughs> so it's like, ah. Anyway, my chickens, really, I feel like I have never found the sweet spot on where I have a surplus of eggs. I've got like 40 some chickens now. And they're different ages and different stages. It'll all be okay. I don't have a ton of eggs water glassed and all of that. Um, but my chickens usually take a break like from November, December, and like mid-January, early February, they're laying again. So anyway, that's my chicken egg update. So tomorrow morning, uh, and the turkeys I have are small. They're like 12 pound turkeys, but I'm gonna do two of those. We'll do our stuffing, we'll do our mashed potatoes, we'll do our gravy. I'm gonna get some green beans going. I mean, it sounds like a lot, but you know how we roll. It's not really, <laughs> it's just pretend. Um, the cranberry sauce, I guess I really should do that this evening. We'll see though. So, anyway, back to dinner tonight. And I have some of my recent haul items that I got for Thanksgiving. We didn't have any decorative turkeys. We obviously have decorative pumpkins, but some of these napkins, we'll open those tomorrow. And then I got that for 75% off at TJ Maxx. And my fun little olive sprayer button, o olive, yeah, olive oil. Um, I can't wait to get this going too. So I just pulled this baked macaroni out and it was kind to us. Thank you, baked macaroni. The baked macaroni, because like I said, I'm gonna do two more pans of it. I do a cup of butter, get that going. Oh, those noodles are in there, shoot. I didn't check that first. Okay, after several adventures, <laughs> got those noodles out. I just ended up pouring them and the little bit of butter that had melted into the colander that's in the sink, waiting with the other noodles. So now I am melting one cup of butter and then I'm gonna add in a cup of flour and I'm, I'm waiting on milk and then it'll be eight cups of milk. This is how I do my big batch baked macaroni and cheese. If you don't want two 10 by 13 pans, thank you honey, thank you, appreciate it. Then uh, don't, don't follow these directions, right? Let's see, my flour. Nope. No, you may not because that puts dirty germs over all the Legos. Nope. Pick them up the old fashioned way. So now at this point, it requires a lot of stirring. Get it to a boil and then once it's boiling I usually turn it off and then add the cheese in but keep stirring for a few minutes and a lot of times I'm using my whisk at this point I just don't I might have one in this drawer okay yeah I didn't think I had any over So 
So lots of cheesy things. These three are the hash brown casseroles. Again, the baked macaroni there with a sample taken out. We'll salvage the ham, it'll all be okay. But now I'm gonna do two more pans of baked macaroni. So these two big things of mac and cheese, I also added, oh now wait a minute, what's my, I thought I set this for 30 minutes, I must have set it for three minutes, let's see, let's see if I can do it now, okay, timer set, that's so I don't burn the next batch of mac and cheese, anyway, I had two of the packages, it was four cups total of these little cubed ham pieces, I had those already defrosted from the freezer, from a freezer meal recipe I thought I was gonna film the other day, and here we are. So I went ahead and just added those into this baked mac and cheese, and now I'm going to top it with more cheese. There we go, so it has been over a year since I have made baked mac and cheese for my family, and so I decided because we're obviously good for Thanksgiving and there's even more food being made tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these wrapped. I'm gonna let them cool a little bit, of course. We're gonna wrap them, we're gonna label them. These are gonna go in the freezer. So these will just be baked mac and cheese freezer meals for whenever life tells me <laughs> as the mama that we need a freezer meal. We will have a night where we have a baked mac and ham and cheese ready to go, and then of course, throw any other side items with it, yay. Good morning, happy Thanksgiving day. It was a long kid night. You know mamas, how sometimes you just have a night where like everybody's up, everything's happening. It was a long kid night. I am reheating my coffee. There are things we are a cooking. It's almost 10 a.m. now. I mean, nothing's cooking yet. There are things we need to cook. Uh, we will probably eat, I'm thinking, maybe two or so. We're definitely doing the Thanksgiving Day continuing cooking, but then again, that's what we're doing today. We are hosting uh, about 14 or so, so just a few additional folks. So it's just a, a cozy, cozy little Thanksgiving at home, and it's going to be fun. And I saw our friend uh, Sarah from Our Tribe of Many. She posted last night, I just thought it was cute, how a lot of folks are hosts 12, 13, 14 people. And she just posted a cute little thing on Instagram about how, you know, she, she cooks for and feeds and cleans. Of course, it's all a big family effort, but uh, you know, for 12 all day, every day. And so I was thinking, yeah, it's kind of like every day at our house is Thanksgiving. <laughs> This is pretty normal. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna move my cast iron pans and I'm just gonna get eggs going. Gonna get the water boiling to do deviled eggs and go from there. We need to get the turkeys in the oven. Again, the turkeys that I got are on the smaller side. They're only supposed to take about two, two and a half hours. I think they're 12 pounds. I'm gonna peel mashed potatoes, gonna get those going kind of one thing at a time, but eggs is something I can do right now. I was gonna do 20 pounds of potatoes. We'll probably do those here. This is my uh, in my 30 quart stock pot. And let's see here. So gonna get the deviled eggs going. Gonna go ahead and get the meatballs in the slow cooker. After that, I need to, I should get the turkeys going in the oven. And then it'll be mashed potatoes will be the big project. I'll get kids and folks on here soon. Uh, let's see. I didn't get the homemade cranberry sauce going last night. We're just gonna do it out of the can, that'll be good. My mom has a corn casserole she's always made, so we're gonna, she's just gonna tell us how to do that, and uh, we'll be doing that as well. I saved some of the ham drippings to put in with the green beans, we'll get those going. Just and here we go, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> To bring in this holiday time of year, I have officially, for the first time ever, overrun the pot filler in the pot, and this drips, I'm glad I gotta turn off this little top part. 
Okay, so I don't know what this means, but I guess we're about to find out. Okay, while I'm waiting for Travis to come help me figure this out, I'm going to get meatballs in the slow cooker. That is something I can do. And I'm also gonna have a cookie because mama needs a cookie. So I have my 96 ounce bag of meatballs from Costco. This is some big marinara sauce I got for $2.99 at Sharp Shopper. Got the meatballs in here, gonna pour in the marinara sauce and look at us, we're doing things. Okay, Travis came over. He helped save the day. We are back in business. <laughs> Alrighty, so I got one turkey in and I just realized I forgot to turn the first turkey on. So this now we have two turkeys going, yay. And then we have a really nice potato peeling station going down. Put it up one one higher, honey. We got we got the first turkey out. I'm getting ready to do gravy. Potatoes over here are starting to boil. I need to get my big spoon for those. Let me go ahead and run the some cookies through that we prepped because uh, they only take 10 minutes. Do you want to get the cookie sheets, honey? They're just the um, the peanut butter blossom cookies. I know I should be reheating our macaroni and our hash brown casserole from yesterday, but these only take 10 minutes. You're probably gonna have to put them the other way. Yeah. There you go, nice. Yeah, so just set your watch timer for 10 minutes for me. Okay, so the potatoes are done.
Well, hey, good friends. Happy Black Friday. We ate a ton yesterday, and then we cleaned, and then we rested, and then we cleaned a little more, and then we rested some more. So it was a wonderful, wonderful family day. Now today, we are on our way out of state to visit another family member, and it became apparent during getting outfits ready this morning that the pants, the pants, always trouble with pants around here, right? The pants I bought my younger boys, I feel like August or September, so, so many issues. Either growing out of or knees being busted out of or whatever. And then my nine-year-old, I feel like, has grown six inches. She needs some more pants. And then my 11-year-old, who's almost 12, he's busting out of pants. So basically, I'm doing a Black Friday before we leave morning run to Walmart to get pants for four to five children. And Tobin needs some more pants too. So, Tobin, Benjamin, Daniel, Amelia, and Liam. Five children, emergency pants situation. We're also going out of state tomorrow. You know, sometimes it just becomes apparent where it's like, oh, I didn't see this problem, now I see it. So let's go into Walmart. It's not too crazy here. This is small town America. The parking lot's kind of average. It is Black Friday, so we'll see what small town America Walmart might have going on. We're here for the pants, let's go. This is a lot of festive Christmas stuff going on here. Indeed, indeed. This one even comes with a headband. Oh, it's a llama. Okay, I don't know. See, that's the thing. I don't know if Amelia would think that is so funny and so cute or if she'd be horrified. I don't know what to do. And see, we all love grumpy cat stuff too. And these little button-up jackets are precious. They were 44 and now they're 29. You know I'm in my favorite section, right? I don't see a good replacement though. These are not as thick as mine at home, so we can't replace her quite yet. They do have, yeah, they just don't feel as thick. We can't do it. And then these already look like they've been through the washing machine a bunch. they say this but I don't believe them <laughs> mama's pants haul these eggs are not me shopping at Walmart what in the world it has been a couple days we have had some things going on here and all I'm doing here good friends is I just wanted some eggs for lunch something simple I will tell you about our little adventures that we've been having these have a nice dark yellow yolk I don't, I don't have any eggs for my chickens right now, so I had to, had to buy some. Okay, not making this too complicated here. I'm just uh, breaking these yolks. I have an Ezekiel bread English muffin, and I've made enough because I know Tobin is going to want lunch, and he'll eat off of my plate. And this is not my big, you know, <laughs> four dozen eggs uh, scramble. This is just six eggs, so. Between Tobin and I, we will take care of these. He's going to be two this spring, but sometimes he will eat two or three eggs, and I will eat them on my English muffin. So anyway, <laughs> Mama's Christmas gown collection, huh? At 2.11 in the afternoon, so I don't know if this has ever happened to your family or not, but once in a while it happens here, so I did mention how we were going out of state two days in a row for two different family members. Both were in different healthcare settings. Anyway, we picked up a stomach bug. Okay, it's Monday after Thanksgiving now. Picked up a stomach bug that we've been dealing with. I think just about everyone is coming through it, but today everyone's just, you know, we're, t we're taking a pajama day, a rest day, you know, cleaning up the aftermath day, I think. It was just, again, both Friday and Saturday. We were in two different health facilities and you know, you just share some extra stuff. Also, what I wanna work on 
let's see, it's two now. I was gonna go watch some history documentaries with the kids. We've been watching a documentary series on the Frontiersmen. So we've got two episodes in, we're gonna watch the other two. By the way, this afternoon, I have two more, they're small turkeys. Again, they're like 12 pounds, and they were all ready to frost it, and you know, I can't refreeze those. I need to get them cooked. So I thought I would go ahead and cook those up this afternoon, and one we will pick through for the next few days, and then the other one I may end up picking down and freezing for upcoming recipes, and have, have my turkey, I almost said chicken, prepped ahead. And I just cooked these up with some butter and some salt and pepper. We have in our lunch break. Hmm, you got your little bear plate. Mmm. I know he's using a big fork, but his and his fingers. You're using your fingers for forks, huh? You got your trucky. That's so nice. Ah. Nice. Having our little lunch break time. Alrighty, both the turkeys are in the oven now. Turkey, take two, ha ha. So lots of folks had oatmeal for breakfast, so this was about half of it, so we'll have this. I just used the little measuring cup there to scoop it. Um, we will have this meal prepped for tomorrow. Yay, look at us. So several of our canisters, it's just time to get refilling. So I have some organic cane sugar from Azure Standard. It's actually from a bucket, but I had opened that one up and I'm gonna refill this sugar. And then in here, so this is my, is this 20 or 25 pounds? My, doo -doo 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 -doo. You're gonna find it. Oh, of course, it's ripped off there. I'm 99% sure these are 25 pound bags. So I've been buying these from Sharp Shopper for 20 some years now. <laughs> anyway, uh, and the price I've shared in some videos, they're $27.69 a bag. They used to be like $11.69, but of course, cost of everything goes up. It's still a very good price though. So anyway, so when I open these, I refill them into some different containers. And I mean, we'll go through this. Will it be two weeks? Will it be three or four? It just depends on all the things I'm using oatmeal for, but we always go through it. So here's what's left of the oatmeal. I went ahead and put the last little bit in this container. We will go through and use these first and then I'll rotate out these jars of it from my upstairs cabinet. And that's how the organic cane sugar worked out and there's our brown rice we're currently working through. Oops, and right behind me there was another jar that I had also filled. So this is what's left from the 25 pound bag, yay. Continuing on with the after Thanksgiving, thanksgiving in <laughs> going on. We got another pot of potatoes. We're gonna do more homemade mashed potatoes and gravy tonight. Okay, so with the turkeys, we have that one. We mangled pretty, love you sweetie. We mangled that pretty well last night. We have our other one here that we'll probably get into some stuffing that we had made yesterday, then I got more gravy, and then more mashed potatoes, so it continues. 